Hi, my name is Craig McCauley and I am the Church of Ireland Rector of the Virginia Group of Parishes, which is Billis Killing here, Lurgan and Munter Connard, centred in and around the town of Virginia. This time last year, encouraged by my daughter, in fact it might even have been a couple of weeks later than this, we came up with the idea, which I've been thinking about for a while, of putting Christmas trees in the church grounds in Virginia Town. So I approached a number of local businesses and sounded the idea out. They encouraged us. And within about 10 days, we had ordered, received, and had 56 Christmas trees sponsored. Maybe you spent time walking in the church grounds last year. It was very, very special in the midst of a very difficult moment in our land. The trees were all decorated so beautifully by many of our businesses and organizations and schools and so on. It was just beautiful. And if you were in around about half four in the afternoon, suddenly the whole place just came alive as all the, the lights on the trees came on. And at the very top of our avenue, there was a life-size crib that our local scouts put in for us each year. And on either side of that crib, there were two trees. There was the tree of remembrance, remembering those that we've lost and that we miss. And then the other tree, and how moving was it to see all the names of those who weren't able to get home for Christmas last year, literally from all around the world. In fact, so positive was the experience, along with the town lights in Virginia that the Virginia Development Association put up, the trees actually lasted, I think, until St. Patrick's Day. And when we took the trees down, the grounds felt so empty. And it was wonderful because the trees were sponsored and it allowed us to raise just over 5,000 euros for some of our local charities, which again, badly needed that money. It was great to see that being used for our community. And at the end of the summer, I began to wonder whether it was just a moment in time it had just captured the imagination of people. And so by the time we got to October, I put some feelers up on our social media channels and sent out an email in early November to some of the businesses asking should we go ahead. I chatted to some of the people in the parish and their response was overwhelmingly positive. Yes, we've got to go ahead and do the avenue of light again. So I've been sending invitations out to our local organizations and businesses again to see if they'd like to offer a primary sponsorship, about 250 euros, which makes their name more visible. And then to some of the smaller businesses around, asking would they like to sponsor a tree for 50 euros. And again, the response has been fantastic. I think we have about 30 different sponsorships already. Probably about a third of those are new businesses that didn't or didn't know about sponsoring a tree last year. So it's really positive, really wonderful. And we hope at the beginning of December to have all the Christmas trees up, to have all the Christmas trees sponsored. In fact, I'm hoping that we'll go even bigger this year, that not only will we have trees up the avenue, but wouldn't it be wonderful to surround the whole church with trees. One of the great things was that people were able to come in and walk safely up and down the avenue or people who were not able to walk so well were able to get in a car and drive up the avenue and round the church and back down again. Wouldn't it be wonderful if we were able to drive or walk up and around the church and all the way back down and have Christmas trees around the whole church. So that's the challenge that I'm setting out. Can we go bigger and better than 56 Christmas trees? Can we get as many businesses and organizations and schools and so on in the local area to promote them? Can we do something even more? In fact, I have a couple of things in mind. We're gonna work with the VDA to do some things at the beginning of December. And then closer to Christmas, I have a couple of ideas that might bring the community safely together. So watch for more videos as we go through the next few weeks that might help and launch some of those ideas. So if you'd like to sponsor a tree, as I say, 50 euros for a tree. If you'd like to offer primary sponsorship, that's 250 euros. If you'd like to get involved, let us know. Where will the money go? Well, this year, 
Some of it will go towards parish funds. We need a little help. But we're also going to support some of our local charities as well. So whatever you give, will be helping others. That is the main point of it. And whatever we do, hopefully in the midst of still a challenging and difficult time, it will provide a little bit of light, a little bit of life, a little bit of safety, a little bit of positivity as we journey towards this Christmas season. So if you want to get in contact, the email address will come up on the screen, virginiaavenueoflight at gmail.com. If you look at any of our social media, the information will be there and I'll send you on all the details if you want to get involved. So in advance, thank you for getting involved. Thank you for making last year and potentially this year such a special thing. So take care and God bless and I look forward to hearing from many.